I brought along my son Jonathan, who in the year 2001 will be the same age as I am now. Maybe he will be better adjusted to this kind of world that you're trying to portray. The big difference when he grows up, in fact, if we wanted to wait for the year 2001, is that he will have in his own house, not a computer as big as this, but at least a console to which he can talk to his friendly local computer and get all the information he needs for his everyday life, like his bank statements, his theater reservations, all the information you need in the course of living in a complex modern society. This will be in a compact form in his own house. He'll have a television screen like these here and a keyboard and he'll talk to the computer and get information from it and he'll take it as much for granted as we take the telephone. I wonder though what sort of a life would it be like in social terms? I mean, if our whole life is built around the computer, do we become a computer-dependent society and a computer-independent individuals? In some ways, but they will also enrich our society because it will make it possible for us to live really anywhere we like. Any businessman, any executive could live almost anywhere on earth and still do his business through a device like this. And this is a wonderful thing. It means we want him to be stuck in cities, we better live out in, in the country or wherever we please and still carry on complete interaction with human beings as well as with other computers.